Here at the prestigious Johns Hopkins Teaching Hospital, young Saudi doctors are learning how to carry out medical research and how to translate the research findings into treatments for sick patients. Dr. Irina Bird directs the hospital's research in maternal and fetal health. Actually, I was very fortunate to travel to Saudi Arabia with help of Saudi Arabian Cultural Mission and opened my eyes actually into a lot of... Um, so to, so to speak, issues that are there. There are phenomenal ultra structures right now, available resources, and the research facilities that are there are top of the, top of, top notch. Um, what is missing is really trained uh, physicians who could conduct research and scientists, and that's what we're trying to help uh, the government of Saudi Arabia to increase their research output, increase the number of qualified researchers doing, re, uh, doing uh, the scientific discoveries there. Dr. Mufida al shamri came from King Fahad Specialist Hospital in Dammam. After several years of training here, she wants to return to establish a unit specialized in fetal medicine, treating the problems of unborn babies. To learn all the skills of the research, methodology, and especially in the basic science, and uh, I'm going to utilize this opportunity when I return back to my country, Saudi Arabia, I can impl implement it, all this advancement in research back home. Unlike most of the trainees, Abdullah al botti a medical doctor, is not working on laboratory research here. He is doing a master's program in public health. Uh, the idea from this affiliation, now we are having to recruit more uh, public health practitioners uh, to have more uh, affiliation from places like that to get the experience from people we are t we are trying to have to help us to establish this this concept in Saudi Arabia so um, we need we need to make people believe in this concept in Saudi Arabia we need more creative uh, people, we need more uh, skills to have data in public health, we need uh, more to have to measure the qualities uh, in, in, in public health, so all these are needed now in Saudi Arabia. Dr. Irina Bird says the teaching hospital is looking forward to receiving a new batch of Saudi trainees next year. And they're very hungry to learn how to do research in the right way, how to learn how to write manuscripts, how to write how, how to write proposals. And so we've been really uh, fortunate uh, to, set, to see a really a high, um, high um, quality of research that's been done uh, on their part. And uh, we've benefited tremendously from having these individuals work with us because their ethic is really high and uh, we are fortunate. Officials say the goal of these expensive training programs is to turn Saudi Arabia into a world-class provider of medical care. In recent years, Saudi Arabia has built modern hospitals and research laboratories. What's missing is trained personnel to carry out the research and develop new patient cures. This program is intended to begin fulfilling that need. Burton Bolle, KSA 2, Washington.